Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. We're back at La Jolla Luxury Beach Resort in Bataan. This video is an update from my previous La Jolla visit. We loved our previous stay so we decided to come back again. I had to change my booking date twice and they were so accommodating. We went here on election day so after voting, we drove here to La Jolla right away. There weren't a lot of people who checked in at this time so it was quite peaceful. We booked two rooms and we were housed in one villa. If I'm not mistaken, each villa has six rooms on the lower floor. I'm assuming they are all deluxe rooms. The lux room is 7,200 per night, additional bed is 1,500 per person. In my previous La Jolla video, I was not able to show you the bathrooms. As you can see, the bathroom is very spacious. On the second floor are the loft rooms and there are six rooms in here. Loft room is at 11680 per night and can accommodate four person. There are two beds below. And there is a balcony which is super useful especially when drying out your swimsuits. There is one double-sized bed at the loft. And this is the bathroom of the loft which is pretty similar to the one at the deluxe room. Shampoo, body soap, and toiletries are also provided. My only complaint is the drain in the shower is so slow. They provided water bottles, kettle, and some coffee and tea. There is also a refrigerator. Safety box to store your valuables. Let's go to the beach. You can request for a shuttle, walk this path, or take the stairs. There were only a handful of guests and it looks like we have the whole beach to ourselves. It is really so peaceful and relaxing. We swam in the beach for a while but eventually transferred to the main pool. While swimming, we felt something that is constantly biting us. It's tongue and can be mahapdi.
we did not experience this in our previous visit last March. This is the main pool of La Jolla. This one is open to the public for day tours. Their other pool, which is an infinity pool, is strictly for the check-in guests. If I remember it correctly, it's only 4 feet deep at most. This is the other pool overlooking the beach which is an infinity pool. Near the infinity pool is the spa where you can get massages. For dinner, we headed to the beach bar which is one of the two restaurants in La Jolla. The other one serves mainly grilled food. These are the food that we ordered. We got the bulalo, chapsui, bihon gisado, inihaw na tangige, and sizzling sisig. For dessert, we got their ube palamig and melon palamig. The food is so so mediocre and can definitely be improved. Buffet breakfast is included in our accommodation. This is their breakfast place. For fruits, they have watermelon and they also have a salad. This is arroz caldo. They have tinapa, this fried fish which was my favorite among everything I ate, assorted vegetables, bagoong, and some sauces. Here we have garlic rice, hard boiled egg, some sausages, this is pork tapa, they also have omelette and sunny side ups, as well as pancakes and some french fries. You can also have some cereals if you like. And here we have some puto and kuchinta. They also have an assortment of breads to choose from. You can eat it plain or pair with butter and jam. For the drinks, we have brewed coffee, juice, and water. There were still lots of flies like the last time that we went here. Apparently, it's because it's mango season. Please try this fish. It's so crunchy, you can eat the whole thing. It's so good paired with vinegar. For today, we wanted to do some water activities. You can try the jet ski, the banana boat, or the kayak. Just a tiny tip, the shore on this side is less rocky compared to the other side of the beach where we swam in yesterday. Each room comes with free 30 minutes use of the kayak. 
for the banana boat, we made a reservation the day before. Banana boat is 2,800 for 15 minutes. Charged to the room and paid upon checkout. Five people can fit the banana boat and one on the jet ski. Our vacation has finally ended and it's time to go home. We're very happy to have this time to spend with our family and loved ones. Before we headed back to Manila, we had our lunch here at Tangwal restaurant. The food was good and the prices were reasonable. We had the sinigang na manok sa ayo which is their specialty. Pinakbet Tagalog. Sizzling sisig. Sizzling calamares gamba style. You can skip this one. Inihaw na liempo. Inihaw na boneless bangus. That's it, our Bataan trip officially ends here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.